I just want to read for you a statement um, after the leak of this SCOTUS, SCOTUS ruling by the National Association of Evangelicals. They say, evangelical commitment to protecting the unborn stems from our deep understanding that God created human beings in his image and that every human life from conception to death has inestimable worth. Um, you know, one has to, of course, take into account the religious beliefs, the moral beliefs, some would even say some of the scientific beliefs in this statement. Talk to me about that because that is also part of this story. There's a big part of the country and the world who believes precisely that. Yeah, well, first of all, the evangelicals do not believe that because if they did, they would be fighting for paid parental leave so fathers and mothers could go home and be with their children instead of women going back to work three low paid jobs with a terrible minimum wage while they're still bleeding from a cesarean section. Evangelicals don't care about that. They would not have fought, as the Republicans did, against the child tax credit that for a brief shining moment lifted millions of American children out of poverty. But they're not going to spend that money. They want to get rid of it. They call it socialism. If this group of people was pro-life and actually were consistent in their pro-life position, you could have some admiration for them while disagreeing on the matter of choice. But they are an anti-family group of people who put the welfare of billionaires in this country ahead of children, ahead of women ahead of poor people, ahead of families. They're not even for paid parental leave. They're not for the child tax credit. They do nothing for children in terms of schools and education. They have never raised the minimum wage. They believe in people working two, three jobs on the margin of poverty and tough luck, you're on your own. So the minute that child is born, they are anti-life. They're not just anti-choice. 